This presentation is an introduction to design briefs. This is an example of what a design brief looks like. Notice the different uh, categories or sections in this design brief. Client company, uh, target consumer, designer, problem statement, design statement, constraints. What is a design brief? The design brief serves as an agreement between the client and the engineer. The engineer will often return to the design brief throughout the design process in order to gauge the progress and validity of the creative work. So the client, we're going to talk about first, the client is usually a person, a company, organization, or target consumer group whose problem or need requires the talents of an engineer designer to develop a physical solution. Notice that the client could be the consumer, um, the designer, that could be all in one, but notice it could be um, for someone specific, some, could be for someone else. Target consumer, the target consumer is usually the person who would most likely use the product after it is, it is designed. Designer is the uh, creative problem solver, the person who actually designs the product. Engineers are only one type of designer. Engineers perform engineering design. Engineering design is the application of math, science, and engineering principles to the creation and development of systems, components, and processes. Problem statement. The problem statement clearly and concisely identifies the problem. A problem statement must never imply or state a solution. The solution is not the problem. Example of a good problem statement. My locker, my school locker is a mess. I can never find a pen, pencil, or calculator. My homework is always getting lost. My lunch gets crushed under a sea of books and binders. Because of the clutter, it is hard to close my locker door completely. That is an example of a good problem statement. Here's an example of a poor problem statement. My locker needs a lock mate so that I can get my locker more organized. In this case, a lockmate is a fictitious brand name of an already existing solution to the problem. Therefore, it is a poor statement because it basically already suggests the problem. Here's a, the design statement. The design statement challenges the engineer to take action to address the need and to solve the problem. It must specify the degree to which the engineer will carry out the solution. The design statement may also contain an underlying theme or very important constraint. A good design statement should not unintentionally bias the designer's creative thought process by using terminology that suggests an already existing solution. Example of a good design statement. Design, model, and test a high school locker organization system that will neatly contain items commonly used and kept in school. Here's an example of a poor design statement. Design a lockmate for a high school locker. Redesigning a lockmate is not the purpose of the activity. The word lockmate uh, may serve to bias the designer and narrow his or her creativity. Constraints. The constraints uh, give the engineer an unlimited amount of time or money to complete a job, um, or to be able to do that, given an engineer uh, unlimited amount of time and money to complete a job is, is not practical at all. Limitations must be imposed. Um, so constraints can be thought of as guidelines uh, that must be followed or rules that, that must not be broken. For example, uh, of constraints will be time, safety, budget, aesthetics, the look of something, uh, established codes, materials, manufacturing processes, physical attributes such as size, weight, color, um, or other types of physical attributes. Often new constraints are discovered that were not obvious in the beginning stages of the design process. Because constraints are given in list form, they may be added to as the design process plays itself out. 